Polit polit political views. Hey. Political hey. views. Hey. Well, guys, not to get all political views up in here, but uh, this person's been a meme for the past couple, I don't know, what, months or something? A, a true girl boss. A hashtag girl boss, they call her, I believe. Kirsten, is it Kirsten? or I, I've been calling her Kristen for the past whatever. Uh, Kirsten Cinema. This is truly an odd story. Like, this is just in, an interesting story. I would say a story with a, a bad ending, a bad ending so far. So you might already know, you know, because of the fact that this person has become a meme. By the way, she's an Arizona senator. And if you don't already know, you know, based on her meme status, her story, it's actually very, very interesting. So I'll give you a brief overview of this person's story. And you'll see, you'll be like, hmm, that's odd. You know, she has an interesting backstory where she grew up like extreme, I would say extreme poverty. She lived, supposedly lived in a, like a, a, ga a converted gas station or something. And her family lived on food stamps. And this is how she grew up. Very, very poor. And she kind of became like a, a fighter for poor people early on in her career. She was sort of like you know, a social worker, and she also did things like she fought against, she organized all these anti-Iraq war protests, and she was part of the Green Party, and uh, even there, the people have found tweets from her supporting, despite the meme, remember that meme where she was like, no, to the $15 minimum wage, she was like, she, like, she did that little no. thumbs down, that was her, that went viral, and people were like, wow, that is disgusting. 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 Really just ill-conceived political moments of in all of history, maybe. No. The thumbs down curtsy to the $15 minimum wage. Oh, boy. But uh, despite that, people dug up tweets from her, I think from, you know, 2014, you know, around then when she was where she was she was going crazy for a raise in the minimum wage and the minimum wage was too 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 damn low and then you know we cut to a couple of years like well, no. thumbs down so she was kind of like a real um what would you call them? like a real Bernard Sanders kind of like fighting for the people here's a quote from the early 2000s from her quote until the average american realizes that capitalism damages her livelihood while augmenting the livelihoods of the wealthy the almighty dollar will continue to rule. So you don't even have to just forget what your own ideology is. Just forget whether you agree with that or not. We're just looking at the transformation of a character here, okay? Cut to a couple years later. Now she's she gets elected. She enters Congress and immediately starts going to work on like, like the exact opposite. <laughs> like literally the exact opposite of all the stuff she was talking about. One of Cinema's earliest actions of significance on the committee, this is the House Financial Services Committee. One of Cinema's earliest actions of significance on the on the committee was to approve a partial rollback of the Dodd Frank financial reform law, one literally written by Citibank and backed by the Chamber of Commerce, to allow them to trade certain derivatives and still get a taxpayer bail. <laughs> oh my God! Oh boy. And still get a taxpayer bailout if it all went wrong. Oh, that, huh? That never some something like that never uh, did cause any problems. And if you look at what she's been doing, it's ba basically it's all just to serve the financial services industry. Even as she touted her own experience with homelessness and poverty, Cinema repeatedly introduced a bill to loosen regulations on mobile home loans letting predatory lenders slap their usually lower-income buyers with bigger fees and penalties. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Kirsten. Jeez, Kirsten, there's one thing I have to say. There's one thing I have to ask you. Why? 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 I mean, you. it goes on and on and on. And, of course, there's the infamous thumbs-down curtsy. And now she's trying to – she's defending not – and I, I'm not going to go into a long explanation of this, but she's, you can look up why this is bad on your own. But she's defending the filibuster and all this stuff. What, what this really is, is the story of someone who just completely, their whole 
view of the world seems to have flipped. It's probably not a coincidence that as she's proven herself a reliable foot soldier for the financial services industry in Congress, their generosity toward her has only increased. According to figures from the National Institute on Money and Politics, after receiving only $28,000 from securities and investment firms in 2012, that number climbed to 89000 in 2014, then to 181000 two years later, and over, oh my God, and over 890000 two years after that. Quote, I spend a lot of time fundraising, unquote, Cinema Set told Chris Hayes in 2012. I mean, look, we're, I'm giving her a little bit of a hard time because of her ideological flip, okay? Fashion is great. Everybody should be fly, fashionable. Blah, 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 okay? Booga, laka, booga, blah, 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 blah. But I do, it is kind of funny to think about these old, decrepit, crypt keeper senators and stuff. We're like, well, that's a different lady. That's a different kind of lady. Wow, that's interesting. So, I mean, this is just bizarre. Just forget politics and blah, 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 and all this crap, you know? It's just bizarre to see someone, like, their brains flip like this. But but it makes more sense under the, through the lens, let's just say. It makes more sense through the lens of the following clip that I'm about to play you, which is from a guy named Vivek Chibber. He's doing, he's a teacher, I guess, and he's doing some kind of lecture uh, about how this stuff works. And here we go. And the institutional fact about how they achieve power is what? What do you need to get if you're a politician to be able to be elected into office? Huh? Money. Money. Before votes, it's money. So but what that means is a politician who's in power when he's confronted with two conflicting demands, a demand coming from an individual voter and a demand coming from an individual funder, is not going to look at them the same way. The voter signifies nothing but one vote. The funder signifies not just one vote, but the resources that are necessary to capture 100 votes. In the United States, that's the most accentuated of any country in the world. So in that context, it makes sense. Because she's like, look, the only way I'm going to get elected if I, I suck down a bunch of this money. It's, the only, it's just the way the game's played. It's the way it works. By the way, this picture here is from a Twitter post. And, and there's just like, just tons and tons of guys just going to complete simp. Is it sti stimp? The other guys are stimping for her really hard in there. So now this is what's uh, been trending recently. She, she put this thing on Twitter. Our nation lost a civil rights giant one year ago today. John Lewis was a personal hero of mine, a man of principle and courage who encapsulated blah, 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 blah. And if you just read all the like most liked replies, they're all like this. You are quite literally one of the only people preventing the voting rights bill named for him from becoming a law. This is another one with 13K, 14K likes and over whatever, 1,000 retweets. Lordy, he put his life on the line to fight for voting rights, and you won't even get rid of the filibuster to advance his cause. Unreal. Oh, man. By the way, so she's fighting to keep the filibuster in place. By the way, MLK was against it, just so you know. The tragedy is that... Uh, we have a Congress uh, with a Senate that has a minority of misguided senators who will use the filibuster to keep the majority of people from even voting. They won't let the majority of senators vote. And certainly they wouldn't want the majority of people to vote because they know they do not represent the majority of the American people. I mean, you tell me in the chat if you have been following this person this story is this strictly just because this what this seems like is just somebody who was like i made it i made it i'm an important and powerful person now and that's what matters getting <laughs> getting reelected at all costs and um into making the powerful people happy and that's it that's it what about that other stuff that you said you were believed in and you wanted to try to make the world better for people who were grew up like you nope I made it. End of story. <laughs> Just pull up that ladder.
is is the vibe I get, right? Truly bizarre person. Um, just dress normally. Just just dress. It make Chris is it Kristen? It makes it worse. It makes it worse. <laughs> I'm not. This is not a comment on like oh, people are gonna be like he's telling women what to. No, it's just this specific person. You're not allowed to be fashionable. Okay. Let's pass a law. This is coming up from the bottom of people of or normal citizens. We're going to do a citizen's bill, a citizen's law. It's like a citizen's arrest. I just made this up. If you get enough people, you just a bill gets passed. It doesn't have to go through anything. We just sign on it. becomes a bill. If you are a sort of a vamp, if you're a vampirical sort of just uh, screwing over normal people for the whatever, these big giant financial companies. Um, you basically have to wear vampire-esque crap. Not a cape, because that is kind of cool and fashionable, but just like the weird button-down, button-down shirt. And I know, look, I already know, somebody's going to put in the comments, Jesus, he's saying something bad about women. No, women should be able to wear whatever they goddamn, but please, goddamn you. Vampire should not. We should be, because you need to be able to spot them, is the problem. And if they're dressing like, ooh, I'm cool, I'm Gwen Stefani, then it's too hard to spot them, and then you get right in the neck, you know? The next thing you know, you know, we let these vampires walk around looking all fashionable. Next thing you know, you know, Robert Pattinson, he's got a bite, giving you the bite, giving you the chomp. Hey everybody, and thanks so much for watching this video. Like all the other YouTube and podcast perverts, I now have a Patreon. Every week on this Patreon, I'm uploading two exclusive Patreon-exclusive shows. They're like real shows, more produced, more edited. A behind-the-scenes show where I reveal all my secrets, and a show where we go deep on an important topic that you will want to know about. Also, you get the daily and complete live show audio-only feeds. And at the top level, for only 25 bones, you can become a producer. These people that you're seeing right here make this program possible. Without them, nothing. It goes right in the toilet, right, 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 right,